We all take pictures on our smartphones and while they probably turn out well, chances are you wonder how to get those professional looking shots. Well, that's what I'm here to help you fix. What's up guys, this is Akshay from vbomb.com and in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know to shoot pictures on your smartphone like a pro. Before we get started, make sure you hit the bell icon to get notifications for all of our future videos. Now that you've done that, let's get started. Motion blur shots look amazing. However, taking a motion blur is quite difficult to say the least. You can use the Blurristic app to get motion blur shots with ease. With Blurristic, you can simply press and hold on the object you want to keep in focus. Then, tap and hold on the camera button and move the phone in any direction. Try to keep the phone moving in a straight line. Then, you can just let go of the camera button and you'll get an awesome looking motion blur image. Easy, right? Here are some shots taken with Blurristic and as you can see, the app works really well and can give some amazing results when used properly. Blurristic is a paid app and is available for 2.49 dollars or 180 rupees. Action shots are images in which fast movements are frozen. These types of shots are mostly used for sports photography or for capturing Sharun like we did while he was playing with the fidget cube. To take action shots, switch your phone camera to pro mode. Keep the shutter speed very high like 1000th of a second and click the image. Here's a picture taken with the shutter speed set to 160th of a second and as you can see the fidget cube is blurred a little and then this second image is taken with the shutter speed set to 1000th of a second and the fidget cube looks like it's absolutely frozen in time. If your phone doesn't have a pro mode in the camera, you can use a third party app for it. We are using manual camera which is a paid app but totally worth the $2.99 price or Rs. 210. It's 2017 and we are seeing a lot of dual camera phones. These phones make taking a portrait shot rather easy. However, if you don't have a dual camera phone, you can easily achieve similar bokeh effect with the Google camera. In the Google camera, switch to lens blur mode. Click the picture and slowly move your camera upwards. Google camera can easily add a bokeh effect to the background of your portrait. The image may take some time to process, but the effect is almost as good as a dual camera setup. In the two images taken with the OnePlus 5's dual camera and the S8 with the Google camera, we can see that the bokeh effect is really good in both the cases. Low light photography poses some challenge, especially because by itself, a camera increases the ISO to capture more light in poor lighting conditions. While this does work, it introduces a lot of noise in the photo. So, if you want to take low light photos on your smartphone, you'll need to use Pro Mode. Switch to Pro Mode and set the ISO to 400. Then adjust the shutter speed. You'll have to make it a little slow. We went for the shutter speed of 0.5 seconds. Since we're using a slow shutter speed, try to use a tripod or keep a steady hand because the photo will get blurred if there's any movement of the camera. Here are two pictures taken in low light. One was taken in auto mode and the other in manual mode. The image taken in auto has a lot of noise as its ISO was above 1000. However, taking the same image in manual allowed me to reduce the ISO to 400. And with the shutter speed set to 0.5 seconds, I was able to take a shot with much less noise. Just look at the white areas in the background and you'll be able to tell the difference. Light painting looks very cool and well, it can be done by lowering the shutter speed and reducing the ISO to the lowest possible value. Switch your camera to pro mode or manual mode. Reduce the shutter speed to a lower value. We went with 4 seconds but you should definitely experiment for yourself. Keep ISO to the minimum value your camera can support and click the picture. With light painting, you should always use a tripod, otherwise the image will not turn out well. As you can see, the Galaxy S8 performed really well while taking a light rail shot of daily traffic, while the Nexus 5X couldn't really match up. 
We can blame that on the Nexus 5X's shutter speed limitations, but most smartphones from 2016 and later will be able to perform decently well. Who needs filters to make photos more visually attractive when you have white balance to play with? Let me show you how a single frame looks like with different white balance options. In the camera settings, you can play around with white balance to adjust the color of the image to your preference. When the white balance is set to auto, the camera decides how best to balance colors of the photo, but you can easily play around with different white balance settings like cloudy, incandescent, fluorescent etc to get the perfect color balance on your pictures. Here are some pictures with the white balance being changed. As you can see, the image becomes warmer or cooler depending on the white balance we use. For the most part, keeping the white balance on auto will be perfect. However, every now and then you may need to give your smartphone a little help by choosing the white balance manually. Well, those were some tips to shoot pictures on your smartphone like a pro. So what do you prefer clicking pictures with? A DSLR or a smartphone? Do let us know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.